Well, delivered in Rothschild, Wisconsin. Uh, managed to get the uh, radiator replaced on the APU and even went to the chiropractor and got the electronic jazz on this episode of The Clutch Trucker Channel. Clutch Trucker filmed in front of a live and fuzzy studio audience. Yep, that's Rusty, the world famous meatball dog. In three quarter miles, take exit 151 on the right to Wisconsin 54 West, then take the first right. Thank you, Garmin. Hey, YouTube, Clutch Trucker here. Thanks for tuning in to another edition of the Clutch Trucker channel. All right, it is Friday, December 1st. How about that? First day of December. Um, just delivered my load up in Rothschild, Wisconsin at Beauregard, USA, and now I'm heading uh, 35 miles back down south here to Clover, Wisconsin, to uh, Gateway Truck and Refrigeration, the carrier dealer, so I can get my APU uh, radiator replaced. So I tried to do that two weeks ago when I was there to get my oil and filter changed on the APU. They didn't have the parts, so I had to come back and do it today. But we're going to get that scheduled. So hopefully now, APU will be all taken care of. They let me know the radiator was needing that a few months ago when I had the water pump replaced on the APU. Exit 151 on the right to Wisconsin 54 West, then take the first right. So hopefully, by getting this all done, now we'll be all set all through the winter so that I can stay warm in the truck while the uh, bank engine isn't running at night and... Uh, Up for winter, what do you think? All right, that's at least the plan. Right on the Wisconsin 54 West. All right, so I uh, showed getting here to this one before in one of my previous videos. It looks like you're turning down a neighborhood and somewhere you shouldn't be going in a big truck, but no, it's actually where you should be going. To the left there is the quick trip I like to stay at sometimes. And when we're done today here at Carrier, we might just go over there and park. I don't pick up my load of cereal until uh, tomorrow in Northfield, Minnesota, tomorrow morning. And that'll, of course, bring me back down to, or back to Cheyenne for a Monday morning delivery. Then I've got to go back to the Graber's truck repair in Cheyenne and get some brakes put on my trailer. And then I went ahead and booked a uh, Coyote load that picks up Monday afternoon in Sydney, Nebraska. It goes up to Billings, Montana, uh, paying well enough to go uh, down Hoover Avenue South, then take the second right. To swallow the deadhead that then goes from Billings back down to Glen Rock, Wyoming for another lignite load on Wednesday that I'll be picking up. I don't have anything booked after that, but at least we're booked for right now. Yeah, so see, this looks like I'm turning into like a mobile home park in a neighborhood. <laughs> Looks like I probably shouldn't be going here, but no, you should. I know the first time I ever came here, I was a little concerned. I need to come down this road, but no, it's actually where you should be going, believe it or not. You just gotta make sure you right on Boston Drive. swing line around this uh, pole up here. As uh, they always say on bonehead truckers, that what, Swift, that's what SWIFT, swing wide, it's a freaking trailer. But if you don't, you're taking out that telephone pole or you're messing up your trailer, one of the two. Right? Quarter mile, arrive at 4986 Boston Drive on the right. All right, so, yeah, passing all these mobile homes here. And you can see those trailers up ahead. And there's the carrier sign. So we'll do what we did last time coming here. A little snow's still on the ground right there. We'll just go ahead and drop the trailer and then we'll go get checked in. Okay, well they got me all done here at uh, Gateway Truck and Refrigeration here in Plover, Wisconsin. Uh, only took them uh, about well, two hours from the time I got here and got in and got out and all done. So not bad. I got some pictures to show you of what happened. All right, look at this. This is the old radiator. Look at how worn out and rusted out and just deteriorated it is at the bottom. There's the top. Yeah, it shouldn't look like that. Look at the bottom again over there. Yeah, that's bad. That's the other side. No, shouldn't be looking like that. There's the APU itself, by the way, when the guy's working on it. And hey, look, there's the brand new radiator in there. 
Yeah, you can tell the old radiator was toast, baby. It might not have lasted too much longer. So I'm glad I got this done before the winter and before they putting all that salt down on the road and everything again, which uh, it, the other one was not gonna last much longer. So hopefully I'm good for a while. Uh, that's the whole point. And speaking of me being good, I've, I've got this neck and shoulder thing that's been bugging me for months. It's awful. Uh, and so being a Friday afternoon, I thought, hey, let's see if I can get into a chiropractor around here because I won't have time when I go back on Monday. I got to deliver at Walmart in the morning, then go straight over and get the truck worked on. Then I got to shoot now off to Sydney, uh, Nebraska to pick up a load that goes to Billings, which sets me up for uh, the lig night again for Wednesday. So found a chiropractor five miles away who was willing to get me in today. So hopefully I can get a little relief. What do you think? All right, so yeah, went to the chiropractor and um, yeah, that was interesting. He, he did a little bit more than they usually do in uh, Cheyenne where I go to the Cairo now, where they just kind of give you a quick adjustment. Um, but this one, uh, yeah, did a, he put me on this the thing where you stand up on it, lean back, and he tips the whole thing back and adjusts a whole bunch of stuff. And then they put me on the electrons, or electronic thing where you stick the little sticky boot dudes on your back and they hook, wired it up to a machine. And at first, it feels really weird. You're like, whoa, what is that? And then after a while, you're like, oh, oh. It's kind of interesting. I'd, I'd never had that used on maybe at a chiropractor before, so that was kind of fun. Um, so it'll probably take another couple of adjustments at least before I start to feel kind of normal again. Uh, you know, this neck and shoulder things right here mainly, and then in my shoulder. And a lot of it I know is from the shifting and all that and uh, long days on the road, but you know, it had been getting really bad lately, so, you know, got in and uh, tried to take care of it. So, happily parked now here again at the uh, Quick Trip in Plover, Wisconsin. Got to go pick up my load of cereal tomorrow. I think I mentioned that earlier in Northfield at 10 a.m. Runs me back to Cheyenne for a Monday morning delivery. Yeah, and then I said earlier I'm going to get the brakes done on the trailer and then shoot to uh, Sydney, Nebraska and take a load up to Billings, which sets me up for the lig night again. So, yeah, I'll be, going I'll, I'll be home Sunday night, but... Just for that evening, I get to sleep at home in the bed, but I gotta get up at like, you know, 3.30 to go for my 5 a.m. delivery at Walmart. So, yeah. I get to say hi real quick. Hi, family, I gotta go. But, you know, that's trucking, baby. Well, thanks for tuning in for that one. Just a quick one today, but uh, yeah, I wanted to highlight the uh, APU, uh, finally getting that radiator replaced, and boy, was I glad I did. And then, uh, yeah, I actually gotta go visit the chiropractor and got, got electrified. Thanks for tuning in. As always, please subscribe. Please like and comment. Get your comments as soon as I can. Sometimes it takes a few days because I'm a working truck driver. Clutch Trucker on Instagram. Clutch Trucker on uh, Twitter. X, whatever you want to call it. Clutch Trucker 5 on TikTok. And as always, sniff that, uh, sniff that magic YouTube very dust. Clutch and Rusty, out. All right, caught Selsden. Selsden, uh, can you come on a little bit earlier, please? Well, listen, I was thinking about it, and there seems to be kind of a hiatus between when Freddy says his last line and when I come through the window. So I thought maybe I should be coming in a little bit earlier. No, no, Selsden, I've got it. How about you come on a little bit earlier? Well, we're obviously thinking on the same page here. Am I putting him on or is he putting me on? Are you waiting for begging strips? Is that it? Begging strips? Oh, yes. All over it, like white on rice, like hair on a gorilla. Yes, Rusty enjoying his begging strip bounty here in the clutch trucker uh, cl clutch trucker truck. I can't speak. Been up since late last night. Long day. I'm tired. Oh yes, loving it, Rusty. Okay, you ready for your next one? Oh yeah. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. Okay, Rusty. Making quick work of it. We've got a couple pieces left down there. Let's get the up close and personal happy dog. Oh, yes. There's the last piece. <laughs> you got it, buddy. Happy dog look. Rusty! Hello! Hey, Rusty, hey, up here, look up here, Rusty, Rusty.